It's no secret that WordPress is a powerful marketing tool, but with so many plugins available, it can be difficult to choose. A general rule of thumb is that you should install as few plugins and add-ons as possible to get the best out of WordPress. So without further ado, here are my top 10 free WordPress plugins for your website, plus three premium, which I think you'll really enjoy. Number one, WordFence. WordFence is a security plugin for your website. It lets you set up a firewall to stop anything nasty coming in in the first place. It sets up a malware scanner and notifies you if something does break through those defenses. And it also sets up two-factor authentication for your login screen. Two-factor authentication is when you get a notification to your mobile phone so that you know that you're the right person logging into your site and no one else gets your login details. Number two is SiteKit, which is a plugin by Google that helps you connect all of your Google services to your website. It helps you set up your analytics, your search console, and even tag manager so that you can see how people are moving through your site and what they're doing while they're there, which obviously is massively important for all of your marketing. Number three is Yoast. Yoast is a plugin that helps you with your search engine optimization. Now, you'll have already set up your analytics through Google Site Kit in the previous step, but this time, we're now looking at the other side of search engine optimization. What you can do with Yoast is set up a particular keyword or key term on any given page or post and then work out how well you're ranking for it. It even gives you a little step-by-step -step list at the bottom of the site to show you what to do next and how to rank better. Now it's important to note, however, that when you do do this, you do need to do a little bit of keyword research prior to coming into Yoast because just putting a word in at random, it will help your rank but you don't necessarily want to rank for that term, understanding exactly what you want to rank for is key to really good search engine optimization. Number four is redirection. Redirection is a plugin that helps you set up 301 redirects on your website. Now, what is a 301 redirect, I hear you ask? Well, okay, it's very simple. Have you ever been to a website and received an error that says that page no longer exists? It's very annoying and it happens more often than we'd like to admit. With a 301 redirect, what you can do is take that audience and move them automatically over onto another page that does answer the question that they're asking. It's much better to do that than it is to leave them on a dead page, as most people at that point will just bounce off your site and disappear altogether. Number five is Imsanity. Imsanity is an image compression plugin which helps you downscale images for your website. Essentially what happens is that you'll go out and take a photograph with your mobile phone and at that stage you'll end up with an image which is about 5,000 pixels across. That's great if you want to print it or if you need to zoom into a specific area, but actually for your website you'd never need something that large. All you need for a website is 1920 by 1080, that's 1080p, and this plugin helps you resize stuff exactly that way. Number six is Alt Optimize. Alt Optimize uh, basically takes out all of the excess stuff from your code work. Essentially, as a human being, when you write something down, you need to put spaces in and returns so that you can see what you're actually writing. But computers and bots don't have that limitation. They can just read something from top to bottom really easily. So what this does is it just takes out all of that excess information, making the file size smaller and making everything load a little quicker. Number seven is Pixel Cat. PixelCat is a really simple lightweight plugin that helps you connect your Facebook pixel to your website, which is ideal if you're using Facebook ads. Essentially the same as Google Tag Manager, but specifically for Facebook rather than Google, this just lets you track information that's coming through your ads and see where people go and how they've moved through your site. It's always good to have this connected as well as Google Tag Manager if you can, but if you're just using Facebook on its own, you might not need the Google Tag Manager at all, so it's up to you which way you go. Number eight is Termly. Have you ever seen those little pop-ups that show up at the bottom of people's websites that tell you that cookies are enabled? Well, Termly is one of the services that helps you set that up on your own site. It's especially useful if you are using Facebook Pixel or Tag Manager or any of the other tracking services that I mentioned today because all of that is done through cookies. Termly will sort this all out for you, set up everything that you need to know and automate that entire process, which is much, much easier than doing it manually. Number nine is Updraft Plus, which allows you to back up your site, including your files and your database to an off-site location. That can be an FTP server, your OneDrive, Dropbox, or the one which I recommend most often, your Google Drive. Since you'll already have had to set a Google account up for your website anyway, and it's nice to keep everything in one place. And number 10 is WooCommerce. WooCommerce is an e-commerce plugin to turn your website into an e-commerce platform. 
It's really useful if you're selling one or two products or if you just want to add a digital download or something like that to bring people into your funnel. The only thing I would say is that if you are a full e-commerce store and you're really running into e-commerce territory and you've got hundreds or maybe thousands of products, then I'd probably recommend moving over to something more dedicated like Shopify as that's going to give you a better return on investment. So that was my top 10 free WordPress plugins for your website. I thought I'd also mention a couple of premium plugins at the end here, which I find extremely useful. They do have a fee to them, but I think you'll agree they really do make a difference when you're building a site. Number one is Beaver Builder. Beaver Builder is a page builder for WordPress, and it allows you to put layouts together with a drag and drop system, which makes it really easy to use. It also includes a bunch of pre-built layouts, so you can build stuff out and make sure that it looks right. It's also responsive for mobile. Number two, is Gravity Forms. Now, similar to Beaver Builder in that it's a drag and drop system, this allows you to put forms together in any way that you like. So you can drag in different fields and create that out. As well as that, it also connects to a bunch of different services in the background. So if you've got a CRM or some sort of system that you want to put together, it'll actually connect that up and make sure that all the data goes to the places that it needs to go, as well as setting up automatic replies and responses to specific form fields, which is really, really useful. And last but not least is Astra Pro. Now, Astra Pro is specific to using the Astra theme, but it takes what is a very good theme to begin with and adds additional customization to it to make it even better than it already was. With this, you can change things like the header and the footer and make sure that the layout of the page as a whole, not just the page in the middle, but the whole website itself, is customized to you and make sure that your brand is well represented on the site. Well, there you have it. I hope you found that useful. I've left a link to all of the plugins that I mentioned today in the description down below. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment if there's anything specific you'd like us to make a video about in the future. We'd love to hear from you. Look forward to hearing from you again soon.